What's up guys, how you guys doing? Before I get started with this video, I just want to apologize. My child, for some reason, is super hyper. So if you hear some screaming or craziness in the background, just try to ignore it. But going on to the watch review, today we have a watch that is new to me. I just recently purchased this. This is the Seiko 5 bottle cap watch. Let's do a quick 360. Let me zoom in for you. So there's the face. The cool thing is on the back you can see the automatic me the mechanics of it at least I don't know if that's coming through there we go and just a standard clasp but let's go straight into the talking points starting off with price uh, I bought this off of Amazon out the door after taxes and shipping about 155 bucks so in my opinion considering that this is a Seiko which I consider to be a higher-end watch company um, I consider that budget-friendly very budget-friendly next item tactical schmactical dressy or casual definitely not tactical I don't know it's just not it doesn't scream tactical to me but I would say casual and I think you could pull off dressy with this watch I mean, it just looks very clean, not too loud, but loud enough to grab someone's attention. I think I think you could definitely pull this off in a uh, formal environment. Next item, functions. So with the functions, uh, what you've got is, first, you've got your day of the week and date. The cool thing about this is it is bilingual, so... Um, you could either set it to English, and I think the other language is Spanish. I'm not 100% sure. I just know that there's another language, but I forgot to verify what language that was. <clears throat> uh, also, you have a unidirectional bezel right here. I want to say it's 120 clicks because spinning it, it's very smooth. And it sounds like there's definitely more than just 60 clicks happening. Um, also, I think I mentioned it before, but this is an automatic watch, so you wind it through the crown like this. It's not a screw-down crown, uh, and then as you wear it throughout the day, it is self-winding. So as long as you wear it, you never have to recharge it, if you will. Alright, next item is illumination. Let me go ahead and turn off the lights. Just a quick disclaimer. I have not spent all day charging the loom on this with direct sunlight. This is really just the what you're going to see is really just from uh, ambient lighting inside a house. So not very, let's see, the loom hasn't been given a chance to really show itself. But let's just see what it looks like, all things considered. see if I can get this in the camera alright so you can see a fairly clear picture of the loom I think all things considered considering that this has not been directly charged and it's only been inside of a house with ambient lighting that is fantastic and it it doesn't look that good through the viewfinder but looking at it with my naked eye it's perfectly acceptable so fantastic job on the loom Next item is visibility. I have no complaints with visibility. It's pretty easy to see what time it is. I mean, uh, you've got those nice pronounced sword hands, which I absolutely love, and they come to a very uh, definitive point. And that's all I'm going to say about that. Next item, button and crown placement. So with the crown, you've got it slightly offset from the 3 o'clock position. And for me personally, I love that because it gives it a like a pseudo dive watch look, and that's something that I've always very much liked. Granted, this is not a dive watch, but it looks like one. So I'm not a diver, so that's perfectly fine for me. Maybe not for you, but if you're that kind of guy that wants to have that look uh, without paying the dive watch price, then this is the perfect solution to to that situation. 
Next item is band quality and comfort. Uh, the biggest complaint that I saw from other reviewers on YouTube was the band. And it wasn't really that much of a complaint. They were just saying that it was cheap. Uh, for me, this is a perfectly acceptable band. Yes, I can agree that it is probably not the greatest watch band in the world. But, I mean, it looks good. And you can see on the side, it's got a chrome finish and brushed steel finish on, on the main side. But, it's light. It's comfortable, but still, it doesn't feel flimsy at all. So... For 150 bucks, this is exactly what I would expect for a watch brand. Um, it did come a little bit long, so I had to remove two links to make it fit my wrist comfortably. And I do have fairly thick wrists compared to the to the average person, so you're more than likely going to have to uh, do some adjustments. But it's quick and easy if you have the right tools. It it took me all of five minutes, not even. All right. Next item and last item, overall, should you buy? Alright, so companies like Seiko and Citizen, uh, Movado, those are just the ones that can come out uh, that I can think of right now. They, those are companies that I consider, uh, I guess, lower end corporate, but still very high end timepieces. So Really, they're not like the watch for multi-millionaires, but they're still very good quality, but also very expensive watches. So the fact that you can get a Seiko, an actual Seiko, for less than $200 is something that really makes me happy. Because it gives the average Joe, someone like you and me, I'm assuming if you are an average Joe like I am, uh, you know, it, it, it gives us an opportunity to enjoy watches from companies like that without having to break the bank. Um, other than that, my only main gripe is the fact that it is a wannabe watch. I think it wants to be like a dive watch, but it's really not. Uh, the cap is not a screw down cap. Uh, and really, that's my only gripe with it. Um, but at $150, everything else is phenomenal. This is really a 10 out of 10. They did a great job. And if this is the kind of watch that you like and this is the style that you're looking for, then look no further. This is the watch for you. And I mean, it's automatic. Are you kidding me? Automatics are normally not this easily accessible. So go ahead and get one if you've got the cash. And if you don't, you know, it's not going to take you a long time to save up for it. I am very pleased and I'm pretty sure you will be too. Anyways, that's all I got to say. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the video and I hope this helps you with your next watch purchase. And uh, thanks for watching. All right, bye.